Hi everybody, it's Kristen. Welcome to Bailey's Cabin. I have a new unboxing for you today. I got my stitch fix this week and this was definitely personalized to me. I left my stylist a note and let her know what I wanted and they followed my instructions. I am a little concerned because they did the sizes don't match what I have in my profile. So I am gonna do a try on for you. I have looked at these already. I know what's in here, but I also know I need to try them on. So I'm gonna share that with you as we go through. Uh, when I do the try on, I'm gonna put in the comments, I'm sorry, in the text, what each of the items are so you can see or request those if that's something that you're interested in. I also have a referral link that I'll put in the comments um, and description of the video. So if you're interested in trying Stitch Fix and you haven't been a customer before, you can use my link and, sh and save on your styling fee. Plus I get a little kickback too. So, um, you can help me earn free clothes and then you can start earning your own free clothes. So we can work together and have this work out for all of us. So what I requested this time was tops. I seem to have an abundance of jeans and pants now, but as the season is changing on us, I'm finding that I don't have enough tops. And while we're on the subject of tops, Please excuse the lack of makeup and hairstyling and all of that. It was a work at home day today and I ran to town for a quick minute, but not enough to motivate me to style my hair and put on makeup. But we're friends here, so we'll pretend it's, you know, a sleepover or something and um, we're in our jammies and um, having coffee. Please make yourself at home. So here's what I got in this month's Stitch Fix. The first thing is a nice long sweater with a, um, I think it can go off the shoulder or be a cowl. Cute gray color and it's got some ruching on the sides which will be nice and form-fitting and really soft so that's nice and one of my favorite colors here another sweater or sweatshirt kind of it's like a cowl neck sweatshirt with a, a cinchy um, collar and this is really similar to a gray one that I already have which I love obviously because I bought it but cute um, I'll definitely check that out. And another long sleeve sweater with striped sleeves and raglan sleeves and cute little um, elbow patches. Probably not my favorite thing in the box, but it's cute. So we'll see how it looks on and if we want to go from there. I did, um, one of the nice things about Stitch Fix too is that you can tell them how much you want to spend on each product or each item. So um, I, because I knew I wanted a lot of tops, I actually dropped the price down on it so I didn't wind up with a big expensive box full of, of things that I wanted to keep and couldn't justify. So um, this whole box, I think, um, if I remember from the prices, um, I think it maybe 150 for all five items, right around $30 for each piece. I'll, I'll share with you when um, we get to that point. And a really cute purple long sleeve shirt with some back detailing here. I don't know if you can see that. That's cute. That's nice for casual or going out. You dress that up a little bit with boots and leggings. Love the color. It, it, looks a little big so we'll see and then a plaid shirt 
which is really cute. I like the length on it. So it's a little bit longer, something you could wear legging, wear with leggings. I, um, it has roll up sleeves with a little button um, detailing here. Really cute. I like the pattern. It's not flannel. Um, it's just a, a blend. Um, but I was noticing my closet has a lot of plaid in it. Um, so I'm going to try it on and see what I think. Um, and we'll go from there. It does, um, it's not flannel. It does have a nice, um, neckline on it too. So I'll get this a little bit closer. It's not buttoned all the way up, which is kind of cool. Actually, it's a little more feminine cut than maybe some of the other, um, pieces might be that are are um, plaid so I'm gonna try these on and model them and model them for you and um, you can see uh, these are all size large um, I have been wearing medium so we'll see um, how they do um, compared to what I have been wearing I one of the things I would expect from the Stitch Fix stylist is if they know something runs small that um, if you usually wear a medium, they send you a large. Uh, if you usually wear an extra large, they send you a 1X. Things like that that having a personal stylist um, should do for you. So let's get to trying on. Okay, so here's the plaid shirt that I was saying that I have plenty of. Um, it's not super big, so I don't know if I would go down a size or not. Um, it's comfortable. It's kind of loose in the um, in the waist a little bit, but I'll get closer so you can see the neckline that I was talking about and the sleeves there. So cute. I don't think I, you know, feel fantastic in it, but we'll uh, keep going and see what else I like. Hey, okay, here's a gray cow neck, cow neck, cow neck sweater. It's cute. It's really soft. I like it feel good in it. I'll have to go look in the mirror and see. I don't know if I like this so tight around my stomach, even with the ruching on the side, which is, it's pretty cute. I like that. It is warm. So here's this one. What do you think? Yes or no? Stripe sleeve sweater with the elbow patches. Cute. Don't know that I love it. Cute, soft, feels like good quality um, manufacturing. It's not too big, so my stylist did a good job on that uh, size estimating. Yeah, I don't love it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm counting on you guys to actually give me some feedback. So don't just watch, thumbs up, subscribe, all the other stuff you know I'm gonna ask you to do. I like a little feedback before I have to send these guys back. Okay. All the animals going in and out of the frame while we're doing this. And maybe they're not, they're just running around my feet. I'm kind of going in order for the pieces that I like the most and saving those for last. I think this one I might go down a size on. I really like this. It is a little loose. I don't know, what do you think? I love the color. It's really soft, feels really nice. Good. Cowl 
neck on this as well and it has drawstrings where they go. Did I do put it on backwards? I did, I did put it on backwards. <laughs> I'm gonna show this to you anyway. Okay, right way around. I don't know if this is gonna make a difference or not, but you can see the little strings here. I don't know an instance where I would actually do that because I don't really like things tight around my neck. But it's cute. With a little bow in it. Instead of wearing a necklace. Okay, what do you think right way around? Maybe just cut a little better. We'll see. Next. Okay, so this is my favorite because it's purple, probably, because it's not really a sweater, which is what I asked for. And I think I will go down a size on this one if I keep it. What do you think? Here's the detail on the back. I don't feel too exposed, which would be something I would worry about if it was much more than that. But I'm ha I think my stylist did a good job of, of um, adjusting sizing, maybe, except for maybe on this one, I could go down. All right, let me know. What do you think? I'm going to look for your comments. I'll put all of the links and descriptions and titles of everything in the description below. So if you are a sub Stitch Fix subscriber or you see something that you like that you want to subscribe and uh, request specifically, you can do that. So I appreciate you stopping by and spending a little more time with me today. I hope you're happy and healthy and staying warm. Here in Southwest Washington, it started snowing a couple of hours ago. We're supposed to get um, the big snowfall of the year. And if you're familiar with the Northwest at all, you know that um, the world kind of ends when it snows here because we have lots of hills and things like that that uh, make snow um, a problem getting anywhere or doing anything. So <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. The forecast for our local area is 49 inches in the next seven days, which is crazy for this area. Um, I don't remember with the exception of a couple of years ago getting any more than 14 inches of snow. So I'll keep you posted. Uh, you might get some snow videos coming your way if you're interested. Um, watch for those. Otherwise, I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe so we can get back together again soon and have a visit. Have a great day, night, evening, weekend, whenever this appears in your viewing pleasure. Thanks again, bye.